Alright everybody, here's my Echo 330T top handle. I made a video before of it, but I realized I got the camera mounted too high on my hard hat. I gotta figure out something else out on that mount. A little chilly out here today. There's my lantern. It may look pink, but trust me, it's orange. Let me give you a quick start up on it and try to do this with one hand. Oh, gotta choke it. She goes. It's still new, you know. It's gotta, gotta sit here and warm up. There's Echo 330T top handle. 14 inch bar. Should be warmed up. The only thing I don't like about it is this chain bike right here. There's no holes right here to put the finger in. I think I got it. Wait, there's a link right here where right my finger is. Gotta pull that back. And Let me widen this out for y'all. There she is, 330T, 259 at Home Depot. So, it's a good little saw though, it does for what I need to do, you know. It's a good little saw, runs good, cuts good. Like I said, I got the camera mount too high on my hard head, I gotta figure out another mount. Anybody got any suggestions how to mount this little square camera I got? I got um, another little Venter camera that I got from my sister. So, one full, she starts off fine after it warms up, you know. So like I said, the new saw, it takes forever and a freaking day to warm up. You know, look at the other side where the muffler and all is. I know there's a lot of people out here that hate what I go, but there ain't too much I can do about that, you know. You know, that's their opinion. So I already paid a mind to that. Hey, getting into arguments on these groups about what saw is better than this saw, that saw is better than that saw. You know, to me, it's all not a childish game. Don't get more sick of it. So it's a good saw. Oh, it's really good. You know, I just grease the tip, but I got one of the little plunge greasers. I keep all my tips grease, keep, I keep all my saws pretty well maintained. This one here has got a thing in the air filter where it pulls most of, of, the, of the debris out of the air filter box, so... A little bit long, but right... I don't know if you can see that or not, there's a rubber grommet right here underneath the air. Let me see, I'll pop this air filter off real quick. Yeah, there y'all go. See, there's this little, this little rubber grommet right here. A little dust in the air box. Get that out real quick. And um, air filters cleanable, which I like. You know, some of it, y'all know some of the saws with the air filter. You got to take them off. You go out and buy all new air filters. Blah blah blah. You know, it becomes a pain in the butt sometimes when you're in a hurry to get something done. So, 14 inch bar, low kickback chain. No, I can pull up to a 16 inch bar in here, which I might do no, later on in the near future. Quick view of my yard. That green tarp, that's, that's, that's my work trailer. Use some trees in the background. You take the, these two trees here are pear trees, so anybody wants any pears when they come in the season, I sure will ship you some because I'm tired of raking them up. So I'm going to one more time, start her up. And, I'm going in the house, it's chilly, I'm just out here in the t-shirt, it's like low 50s today, it's probably, it's probably nice tomorrow, so we shall see.